there do I see my father. Lo, there do I see my mother, mother and my sisters, sisters and, and my, my brothers. brothers. Lo, there do I see the line of my, my people. Home. Back to the beginning. They do call to me. They bid me take my place among them. In the halls of Valhalla, where the grave may live. If I asked you just how strong your desire was to reach your goals, you would probably tell me that no one wants it more than you do. And you might even be right. But unfortunately that desire counts for nothing. You see, the only way to get what you're after is to do what others will not do. You are going to have to find the courage to step foot in the arena. Not the public arena where everyone can see you and you can win glory and honor. I'm talking about the private arena where the only opponent is you. The Samurai Bushido Code says that true courage exists not just when you have the chance to be a hero, but even more so when no one is looking. So it may be that you have to sweat and bleed alone in the dark. And there's no time for self-pity, because as soon as you think you've given enough, there's always someone who's given more. You know that pain that's got you thinking about quitting? That's just the body's signal that you are still alive. And that's going to come to an end one day. When that day comes, do you think you're going to remember the pain or the glory? In the words of Miyamoto Masashi, today is victory over yourself and yesterday. Tomorrow is your victory over lesser men. It is not the critic who counts, not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles, or where the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, both his enemies and his own, who strives valiantly, who errs, who comes short again and again, yet never ever gives in, because there is no effort without error and shortcoming, but who does actually strive to do the deeds, who knows great enthusiasms, the great devotions, who utterly spends himself in a worthy cause, who at the best knows in the end the triumph of high achievement, and who at the worst, if he fails, at least fails while daring greatly, so that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who neither know victory nor defeat. He is the man in the arena.